Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. Have you ever wondered that uh, how a fatty acid like uh, which is attached to triacylglycerol, cholesterol, ester, phospholipids which are all synthesized in the liver, how they can be transported to peripheral tissues like brain, skeletal muscle, adipose tissue, cardiac tissue and all these tissues because lipids are hydrophobic and they are not soluble in water. So what is the mechanism to transport uh, hydrophobic lipids which are synthesized in the liver so from liver to peripheral tissue how to transport them in the blood. The answer for this is lipoproteins. So lipoprotein it is a protein which is associated with the lipid molecule. So lipid is hydro hydrophobic and it is insoluble in water media so the answer for this is to place this lipid onto a protein molecule so that protein will take care of solubility and lipid can be carried from one place to another place in a blood media. So that's what is a lipoprotein is about. Now let's move on to see the structure of lipoprotein molecule. So the lipoprotein as it is shown in this particular figure here so this is the lipoprotein molecule. So on the surface of this lipoprotein, so the phospholipids are attached. So as you can see here, so the green heads, these are polar heads of phospholipid and non-polar tail is inside. And also you can note that so cholesterol molecule, so the hydroxyl group of cholesterol molecule will be on outside. And then, sorry, basically the, uh, and then the hydrocarbon chain with the four rings, it will be inside. And on this outer surface, you will see a uh, protein molecules which are arranged, which are called as apolipoproteins. So in this figure, so it has been given in a different colors like a balloons. So those are all apolipoproteins. We have apo A, apo B, apo E, and it's so all like, like that. So apolipoproteins are arranged over the surface and they will take care of solubility and now the hydrophobic lipid is inside especially the triacylglycerol is inside then we have cholesterol ester which will be inside all this is basically cholesterol ester in the figure they have written it as C but actually it should be cholesterol ester so triacylglycerol, cholesterol, ester, which are hydrophobic molecules, they will be in, in the interior core of lipoprotein molecule. On outside, you will see phospholipids with a polar head outside, non-polar tail inside, and cholesterol with hydroxyl group outside. And also you will see apolipoproteins, that's a protein part of lipoprotein, uh, present over the surface. This is what is the overall arrangement of lipopro typical lipoprotein molecule. Of course, the lipid content and the apolipoproteins or the surface can vary from lipoprotein to lipoprotein molecules. Now let's move on to see uh, different types of lipoprotein molecules that we can see in our body. So the lipoproteins types are given in the first column. So we have chylomicrons, chylomicron remnants. We have VLDL, IDL, LDL and HDL and also we have a kind of lipoprotein called apolipoprotein little a. Now the major lipoproteins, chylomicrons, VLDL, IDL, LDL and HDL molecules, we can arrange them based on their density. So in this particular table, so arrangement of lipoproteins in the increasing order of density. So arranged in uh, decrease in uh, increase in the density of lipoproteins here. So we have chylomicrons which are low dense lipoprotein molecules and then we have high HDL which is a high dense lipoprotein molecule. Look at the density of chylomicron that is 0 0.930 and HDL which is 1.063. It means going from chylomicrons into HDL, so the density of these molecules are increased. So if you arrange lipoproteins according to increase in the density, so you see chylomicrons, VLDL, IDL, LDL and HDL molecule. Or if you arrange in a reverse order, that is from 
in the decreasing order of density so that can be HDL, LDL, IDL, VLDL and chylomicrons. Now let's move on to see arrangement of chylomicrons according to their size. So the arrangement of lipoproteins according to their size. Chylomicron is having it's a bigger size molecule as you can see it is 75 to 1200 nanometer in size and HDL is size is 5 to 12 nanometer in size. So chylomicron is the biggest one and HDL is the smallest one so if you arrange these molecules so from increase in size to decrease in size so go, that goes as chylomicrons VLDL, IDL, LDL and HDL molecule. Now let's move on to see the electrophoretic mobility of these lipoproteins. In the lipoprotein electrophoresis, so from the point of application towards the cathode, so when the electric or the electric current is passing from cathode to anode, so chylomicrons do not move much, so they will be found nearer to the origin of point of application. Basically, near the point of apl uh, sample application, you are going to find chylomicrons because they are bigger in size. Now the VLDL will move a little bit, so that is referred as pre-beta. LDL will move forward that is at beta position and HDL will move all the way towards the anode side and that is referred as alpha, po alpha position. So based on the electrophoretic mobility so chylomicrons are near the sample of application VLDL is pre-beta position, LDL is beta position and HDL is alpha position. That is why sometimes we refer HDL as alpha lipoprotein and LDL as beta lipoprotein. Now let's move on to see a uh, major apolipoproteins that are found over each of these lipoproteins. Chylomicron's major apolipoprotein is APOB48. VLDL major apolipoprotein is APOB100. IDL, LDL these are VLDL derivatives so APOB100 just continues. And HDL major apolipoprotein is APOA1. And also note that APOA1 it acts as a activator of an enzyme which is located over HDL and that is LCAT. So LCAT activator is APOA1. APO now APOB48 it is that is present in the chylomicrons. It is synthesized in the intestine. And the gene for APOB100 is, sorry, APOB48 is APOB100 gene. So in the intestine, we have APOB100 gene and that will give rise to mRNA for APOB100. But only thing is, in the intestine, this APOB100 mRNA will undergo mRNA editing because of a special enzyme which is present in the intestine that is cytidine deaminase. So this cytidine deaminase is going to convert cytidine into uracil thereby at 48% of mRNA B100 so there will be appearance of nonsense codon or stop codon and that will stop the translation process and you will get the protein that you get is APOB48. This concept we call it as mRNA editing process. And VLDL, it is um, APOB100 present in VLDL later in IDL and LDL. This is synthesized in the hepo, uh, hepatocytes and it is coming from APOB100 gene. Now note that APOB100, it is uh, recognized by LDL receptors present in hepatocyte and also present in peripheral extrahepatic tissues. So the domain 1 of LDL receptors is going to recognize APOB100 present over LDL molecule. Now let's move on to see other apolipoproteins that are present that on lipoprotein molecules. So there are so many other apolipoproteins that you can find in different lipoproteins but the most important one I have marked in blue color. For chylomicron, most important other apolipoproteins, it is APOC2. And this APOC2 is important for chylomicron because it is an activator of lipoprotein lipase enzyme. Chylomicron remnant major apolipoprotein, I means important apolipoprotein, other apolipoprotein is APOE, 
because ApoE is recognized by remnant receptors on the hepatocytes and these remnant receptors are also called as LRPs that is LDL receptor like protein. Now VLDL other apolipoprotein is APOC2 and this APOC2 is important for VLDL because it is an activator of lipoprotein lipase enzyme. IDL APOE is important because IDL is taken up by the hepatocyte by interacting with the remnant receptor which is going to recognize APOE on the surface of IDL just like chylomicron remnant. Now LDL has no other apolipoproteins except APOB100. HDL it contains all the other apolipoproteins except APOB48 and APOB100. In fact HDL contains every apolipoproteins except B48 and B100 that is why HDL in the circulation it is acting as a repository for apolipoproteins means other apolipoproteins they are going to take sorry other lipoprotein molecules like chylomicrons, VLDL, IDL and LDL they all recruit other apolipoproteins from HDL molecule. HDL is acting as a storage or a bank for other apolipoprotein molecules. Now let's move on to see the other constituents that are present in lipoproteins. So chylomicrons contains vitamin ADEK apart from triacylglycerol and uh, cholesterol ester phospholipid so these are all the dietary things and also along with that chylomicrons contains vitamin A, D, E, K. Note that chylomicrons are rich in triacylglycerol which are exogenous in origin that is dietary triacylglycerol which is 90% uh, of chylomicrons has got triacylglycerol. Now the VLDL it contains other, other constituents of VLDL is vitamin E. In fact, VLDL is acting as a transporter of vitamin E from liver to peripheral tissues. So VLDL is converted to IDL, that's how vitamin E is transferred to IDL and IDL is converted to LDL, so vitamin E is found in LDL. LDL is taken up by the peripheral tissue, so vitamin E is transported to peripheral tissue. So this is how vitamin E, it is transported from liver to the peripheral tissue initially in the form of VLDL and then IDL and then in LDL molecule. Now other constituents that are found over HDL molecule and there are three enzymes there. One is LCAT that is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase enzyme. Then we have CETP that is cholesterol ester transfer protein. Then we have peroxonase and this peroxonase is an antioxidant enzyme and it's go, it is participating in neutralizing reactive oxygen species. So the antioxidant capacity of HDL is partly because of it contains peroxonase enzyme. So this is all about different uh, lipoprotein molecules. I hope this video has helped you in understanding lipoproteins. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Take care.